Those do stop by and the public can go and see them and get inside the planes and kind of see exactly where everyone is when they're flying. So those tours are nice, but they did cancel it this year uh, during the spring kind of leading into hurricane season, of course, because of the pandemic. So I think they're going to resume it maybe next year or I think the year after. Anyway, would be cool to see that. I have uh, been inside one of those when they came to New Orleans not long ago. 47 degrees in New Orleans and we are chilling down tonight, mainly in the 30s and 40s for early tomorrow. 36 right now across our North Shore areas, 34 at Bogalusa. That's the cold spot tonight. We have 40s on the South Shore, but away from the city, 30s at this point. And those are current temperatures. So here's the cold high pressure. We have another system on the way out to the west. We'll have an upper trough eventually bring it toward us as we get toward Thursday. That's the day that we will have our next rain chance and that we'll also look for yet another cool down, but not as drastic and not quite as cold at the end of the week, even though we will be cooling down than what we're seeing right now. You can see temperatures near freezing across much of the southeast and over uh, toward the northeast. Of course, there's still snow going on. Our temperatures tonight thankfully will not be extremely cold, but these are certainly frosty or light freeze conditions north of the lake. So plants and pets need to be protected there again and south of the lake away from the city as well. You could possibly have a bit of patchy frost. New Orleans, I think in the metro area, Metairie, the West Bank will probably be in the low 40s for early tomorrow. So don't have to worry so much about frost in the metro area itself. So your wake up forecast though, I think jackets, coats, um, maybe a couple of extra layers needed once again. 30 43, the low on the North Shore, we'll say, and then 43 on the South Shore, and then we'll be rapidly increasing with our temperatures tomorrow all the way into the 60s as opposed to 50s today. Our high was 57 in New Orleans today, and the average at this point in the year is 68 at the start of December. So we'll be maybe close to that or possibly even just a little bit below that tomorrow, although it will be warmer compared to today and a little breezy. We'll also have increasing clouds, so you may notice that, especially as we get toward afternoon and evening, but I don't have much in the way of a rain chance tomorrow. Possibly after sunset, we might have a stray shower, but really it will be Wednesday night and Thursday that we look for more rain. Today, of course, starts meteorological winter, which is not astronomical winter based on solstice, uh, the solstice, but also this is a different way to look at it with the coolest average temperatures being December, January and February. So certainly a cold start to this first day of winter if you want to look at it that way. The Climate Pred Prediction Center has issued their outlook for December and notice we're in a near average area for temperatures, but a lot of the US is looking at warmer than average temperatures for the forecast, and we are also in the area for a drier than average average forecast for December. Rainy conditions expected across the Northeast. So we'll see whether it happens. Those um, can be right and sometimes things pan out a little bit differently, but we will be below average for the, ne the next maybe week or so. So as we move into Wednesday, it'll be warmer rain and cold front on Thursday and nice cool conditions Friday and the weekend and we'll go forward in time tomorrow morning, then tomorrow afternoon 60s, a little bit of cloud cover and then we'll shift over so I can show you rain Thursday morning. Thursday afternoon. This is around lunchtime and then through the evening. That will be our next front. So we're not looking for severe weather with that front. We are looking for maybe an inch, possibly up to two inches of rain on Thursday. But again, no severe storms expected at this point. We dry out by early Friday and then look how nice it's looking for the weekend. But the mornings will be kind of chilly, mainly in the 40s and highs in the low 60s. Nice weather continues into the early part of next week, too. I'm just so happy to see it's in the 50s and the 60s. <laughs> Alexander. Thanks so much. Well, tonight, Children's Hospital flipped the switch and turned